I've had a lot of time to reflect and really understand everything that's happened and all of my actions. And, you know, f first of all, I want to... Uh... Now, I don't know how, but the KSI meltdown in response to all this lunchly stuff is somehow getting worse. This could be a generational YouTuber meltdown because we've not seen something like this in years. The craziest thing is, though, this came from one single tweet. This guy has genuinely been spiraling for weeks because of one tweet. I wasn't the one complaining! I'm just replying to Dan! Am I not allowed to reply to Dan? He came at me! Am I not allowed to reply to Dan? He came at me! And you've probably seen that video from KSI by this point i think everybody has the dislike ratio though it does speak for itself and even weeks later it is still getting worse you know what if he maybe laughs a couple more times maybe this will all go away <laughs> Because by this point, he is obviously trying to play it for jokes. Because I don't think there's any other way to go about it. But clearly, to basically everybody that's not a KSI Glazer, I think his ego is pretty deeply damaged here. Even in the initial video, it does actually come across like a meltdown. And actually, let's take a step back and look at the whole fucking situation. These motherfuckers are complaining about a lunch kit. That's what this whole thing is about. A lunch kit. And I'll throw in a reminder. He is 31 years old. If I'm acting like this at 31, just take me outside and batter me, to be honest. Because it ain't a good look. And honestly, beyond all the fake laughs and jokes, like I genuinely think he is broken. Because the way he's reacted to the fair criticism of Lunchly, it kind of flies in the face of everything he's ever said. This thing I always say, I always just shout legacy. Mm. I shout legacy in my head repeatedly and it just brings this energy all the money fame well who gives a fuck but legacy that's what people go yes this is ksi this is what he did in fairness to ksi he might have the best legacy when it comes to cheap lunch replacements. But it is beyond parody. Like, I probably don't need to tell you that. I just genuinely think his ego is so unchecked that he doesn't know how to respond when somebody doesn't like what he's doing. This lunchly stuff, by the way, isn't the only example in recent memory. The writing actually was on the wall, because there's a UK YouTuber called Beard Meets Food. He actually released a podcast clip about KSI a couple of months ago. With the context we now have, this is pretty crazy. Bro, love you. your, uh, love your eating challenges. You know what goes great with an eating challenge some prime to wash it down give us your address and phone number so we can send you some and um you're having a bad day admittedly well my my reaction was slightly mischievous but i don't agree with the i don't ethically i don't like the brand <laughs> right so i'm perfectly entitled to share my opinion with them yeah. so i said Perhaps a bit directly, I would rather drink, drink my grand's piss. And it's fair enough, really, because if you've ever tried Prime, not the greatest drink ever. Good marketing, you know, we'll give them that. But clearly, they don't know how to take no as an answer. And to be fair, given what KSI used to do when he started YouTube, we should have admittedly maybe seen that one coming. I guess KSI and Logan Paul's fan club um, <laughs> did not take to it very kindly and started uh, sending me lots of abusive things, So, uh, which I found equally, if anything, more funny. And he says something like, I'm not going to give that clown the time of day. <laughs> we tried to get him involved in a Sidemen video and he didn't want to. Um, and then something else insulting about me. And I thought like, that was a funny thing to me. How big does your ego have to be? That it is insulting to you that somebody doesn't want to be in your video. I mean, given what we've seen in the last couple of weeks, I don't need to tell you this, but his ego is out of control. And people love to, in his defense, say that he's just playing up to it. But at what point does it become reality? Because if it's the only way you act, then I hate to break it to you, but that just is you. Somebody replied to him that, like, basically, well, if he's already said no to this, why would he try sending him some Prime? <laughs> if you don't want to be in a video with you, why would you try sending him Prime? <laughs> I thought, man, being called a clown by KSI is one of the most ironic things. <laughs> like, it really does just write itself. In Dan TDM's case, for example, I personally hadn't heard his name in a while, but ever since this popped off, his stocks are through the roof. You know, he's riding a wave. The funniest thing as well is that if you look at Dan's channel, he is just posting as normal. He said his bit and he moved on. KSI maybe should have done the same thing. And even beyond beard meets food, this is still reoccurring behavior. When I first started YouTube, he had a fight with Tommy Fury. He got battered, and again, his reaction doesn't exactly scream legacy. This guy, this nerdy FIFA player, managed to hang with you. <laughs> and that 
quite frankly, says a lot about your legacy. I mean, it is funny that he comments on other people's legacy, but that's not even the start of it because the rest of this video was an absolute disaster class. Yeah, let's keep reminding Tommy that he didn't win that fight under his Instagram posts or Twitter posts or anything he posts online. And if you see him publicly, you, you could berate him as well. <laughs> Calling for a man to be publicly berated. That is in fairness legacy. Like this video and you will probably have a better legacy than KSI. That is in fairness not saying much because the guy's stocks are on the floor. His stocks are so low that he's considering doing a rug pull on them because again, nothing screams legacy like doing a crypto rug pull on your own fans. It's beyond parody. Like you just cannot write this stuff. And the craziest thing is if there was the lowest amount of humility here, I feel like people would hear him out. If he took the criticism on the chin, I feel like people would respect that from him. As we know though, that's not what happened. So we'll run it back to the apology because it is so bad. I want to say something. <laughs> Hey yo, drink Prime and eat lunch with me, motherfucker. <laughs> Stay mad, damn TDM fans. Womp womp. <laughs> this thing I always say, I always just shout legacy. I shout legacy in my head repeatedly. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to tell you, there is just zero humility and he genuinely thinks he's right. And it's just so funny because you go back to the initial announcements and it is just so fake. The way these guys were gassing up lunchly, like I'm not actually sure they're real humans at this point. I have an idea and I think it's a good idea, but I want to text it to you. I want to see your reactions. Oh my God. I think it's the next chapter, <laughs> JJ. All the money, fame, well, who gives a fuck? But legacy, that's what people go, yes, this is KSI, this is KSI. Now it's a product, but when you make your whole identity a product, you know, it does kind of become your legacy, whether you like it or not really. And I think we might be past the point of no return. He has become Logan Paul, and to be fair, who could have seen this coming? Logan Paul just corrupts anything he touches at this point. The guy had like a two-week redemption, and then he just turned into Satan. And you know what? In fairness, Logan Paul's response to all of this is equally as bad. So imagine being a mother who's angry that we made this crackers bro you mad because we made crackers this is what you're mad about bro it's a turkey real cheese and cracker stack bro. and the funniest thing is despite the theatrics basically every review of lunchly says it's identical to lunchables like i wish i was exaggerating but this is the consensus they're basically the same fucking thing they look different but they basically taste the exact same like, the cheese here is a completely different color, and guess what? They probably both use food coloring in these. It's basically the fucking same. I'm sorry. Bro. Bro is essentially just spitting out his own product. This is again friendly fire from Logan Paul, but we've come to expect it. And these products are so similar that you look at the market in, and even when the macros are the same, they just change the font color. You see, Lunchly has the bright white protein. Lunchables, on the other hand, it has the kind of faint red protein. Obviously, you want the Lunchly protein here. Like, it's night and day. Bro. You know what? I've been hating for far too long. It is now time to be positive. Logan Paul finally created something good. He created life. Everybody welcome Prime Lunchly Paul to the world. I think I'll speak for everyone when I say congratulations, Logan. Unfortunately, this goodwill lasted for about five minutes because he turned the birthing room into a Lunchly ad. I wish I was joking. I really wish I was joking. You've kind of got to see it to believe it, to be fair. I turned the hospital room into a vibe. And even in the background, you know, you can see those two Lunchly boxes. I mean, if there's anything real about Logan Paul's marketing, then this kid is going to be living on Lunchly and Prime until they're 18. But you know what? I see the word dystopian thrown around a fair bit on social media. This marketing though, while well, your wife or fiance is lying in bed after giving birth, I hate to say it, but this might be slightly dystopian. I think Logan Paul has just transcended his humanity and become the first breathing like advertisement. You can go back to old videos and even in his proposal, he's still got his phone out. I love you so much. Put your phone away. I can't. Why? I can't. Even she's a bit like, come on, Logan. And it is wild, but you know what? I would expect nothing less from this man anymore. Like and sub, and I'll send you a prime cigarette. I don't know. And that, quite frankly, says a lot about your legacy.